Good morning, everybody. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to learn about Pro Control. Uh, my name is Chris Scanlon. I work at Capital Sales. I'm a sales engineer at Capital. Uh, so today, like I said, we're going to be going over Pro, uh, Pro Control from RTI. And without getting further ado, we're going to get into this. Before I do, though, I want to say we do have a lot to cover today. So if you guys have any questions, just please post them in the questions box and I'll take as much time as needed after the webinar to answer all your guys' questions. So Pro Control, very simple lineup. We've got two processors. We've got a iOS license and or uh, app, and we've got two remotes, or technically we've got three remotes uh, when you talk about the companion remote. And there's a couple extra peripheral or accessory pieces we'll get into in at the end. First, we're going to touch base on the two main remotes and uh, more of the main series, actually. There's the R series and there's the Z series. R series is one way control, meaning you're going to send commands from that remote, from that processor to your devices. You're not going to be able to get any info back. Okay. If you guys have been using uh, URC Complete Control, uh, you guys are used to this, whether that's IR direct out, IR to RF, whatever you're using, it was all one way. So the R series is gonna be a lot like that. Z series is actually two-way communication. Uh, that's gonna be two-way feedback to be able to get metadata on your remote, whether that's uh, album artwork, uh, where the shades are at, if the door is locked or unlocked. All of that info is full two-way right to the remote or the app. Um, so we'll start with the Pro 24R remote. Let's get into that a little more. You'll notice that both of these remotes are pretty close to the same. There's a few key differences in them. The R series has a 2.4 inch color touch screen display. It is a fully customizable GUI, meaning you can put whatever you want on there, whether it's six buttons, eight buttons, 10 buttons, one big button, it is completely customizable. It's a blank slate if you want it to be. Uh, it does have a full rechargeable lithium battery. Transmits IR and RF macros, meaning it'll transmit IR direct out of the remote, or it will do RF to the base station, so you don't need to do line of sight. It also has IR learning built right into it. You do not need a secondary tool to learn IR codes in. It pairs with the ProLink R processor and it communicates via 433 RF communication up to 90 feet to the base station. Uh, one trick, guys, an R remote works with an R processor, a Z remote works with a Z processor. All right, so as long as those letters at the end stay the same, you're good to go. So let's get into the ProLink R processor. We are not gonna call this a base station, okay? Because it's really not. It's actually a full processor. The difference between a base station and a base station is just going to relay the commands from the control system, whether that's the remote, whether that's another processor, and it's going to just relay the commands out to that. Processor actually is a, has brains inside, and it actually stores all the communication inside of it. So the way this works is if you're using a processor and you go to hit the watch TV button, so that macro is not stored inside the remote, it's stored inside the base station as soon as you add a base station, or sorry, in, as soon as you add a processor. Now, why is that better? Because when you, if you have that macro stored in the remote and you have six, 10, let's say 10 steps, you hit that, that has, that's 10 different RF commands that have to get sent, plus delays, everything else, and there's a lot more chances of RF interference or IR interference. If everything is stored in the processor and it, it only needs an RF trigger, it only needs to get a single command to trigger that whole macro. Much more reliable. Uh, it also now lets we know what these are processors. This processor has four routable and adjustable IR ports. It has two voltage sensing ports since the processor, we can actually use some logic in here, and it programs via LAN or USB. So that's really nice. You can actually set these up throughout a house, and you don't have to run around via USB and plug them all in. You can plug them into the network, 
and program them all right from your laptop. It's also, since it's on the network, it supports the Pro Panel iOS app. Now, it is only one way. So even though you're using, you can't cheat the system and use this processor and do an iOS app and think you're going to get two-way communication. You're not. You're still going only one way. So just keep that in mind. If you want two-way, which everybody nowadays does, go with the Pro 24Z. It has still a 2.4-inch touch, touch, color touchscreen. It is a full customizable GUI like the R-Series, but it has two-way feedback. You can see in that picture, it's showing album artwork coming from an iPod, coming from whatever you're using for a source. You can get two-way feedback. Rechargeable lithium-ion battery built in. Charging cradle is included. It has transmits IR and RF macros, meaning it can do IR direct out, or you can use the ProLink Z processor and uh, communicate with that via RF. Pairs with the ProLink Z processor, not the R, but the Z. And the big difference is, is this doesn't use 433. This uses 2.4 Zigbee RF communication because the Zigbee gives us two-way feedback, two-way communication versus 433 is going to give us only the one way. So keep that in mind. It's still 90 feet. Now let's go into the ProLink Z processor. It is a integrated 2.4 Zigbee antenna to be able to communicate with the Pro 24Z remote. It is two-way control via IP and RS-232. Two bi-directional RS-232 ports, six routable and adjustable IR ports, two voltage sensing inputs, programs via LAN or USB, just like your R-Series. So again, you can have these throughout a house or a commercial installation and be able to program them all from a single laptop right over the network. And this is going to also support the Pro Panel, iOS only. But this is going to give you two-way communication. Now, Let's get into the Pro Panel. Pro Panel allows you not just for on-site, but off-site control. So very nice, it gives you off-site control. A customizable interface, works with both ProLink processors. Now remember the difference, the R series, yes, it'll work with, but it's only gonna give you one way. The Z series will give you full two-way on that app. License is tied to the processor, not the user's device, meaning, that's a really important thing because you do not need to push the files. The, the program lives on the processor. So if somebody comes in with a new app, new phone, new tablet, they don't have to push that file to that phone or tablet. They can just download the app, open it up, and pull that file. You don't need to touch it. The end user want, or the dealer, you, once you're done with installing the system, programming the system, you can walk away. Customer doesn't isn't going to call you every time they need to update the app on their phone. And the nice thing is, is there's no remote required if you want to just use the processor and the app. Now, we all know how fun it is to be watching TV and having only a phone or a tablet to control your TV. If you want to adjust the volume, you may have to take your eyes off of the TV, look down at the app, and adjust the volume or channel or mute or whatever it is. It's great for listening to music, but when you're watching TV, it's very hard to control everything from an iPad or a phone. And Pro Control thought about that. So they created the companion remote for the iPro app. A lot of people that are using the app want to use it for all the two-way metadata because it's the largest screen. It's easier to mess with when you're looking at two-way metadata. They don't need that metadata on that remote. So that's where this companion remote works very well. It gives you the hard buttons you need. So when you're watching TV, you can pick up the hard button to adjust the volume, the channels, the key buttons that you need to use to be able to navigate and scroll and use your TV without having to look down. Great companion remote. It works with both ProLink processors, hard buttons for convenient tactile control. You can see there's eight buttons that are programmable. So you can set those for your main activities, your 
watch TV, you know, just like you would with a standard universal remote. It always in sync and allows it to control the shift from pro app to the remote without missing a beat because everything, again, they can do this with the processor. It's not a base station, but with, since they're processors, everything stays in sync. Now let's get into some of the peripheral pieces, the accessories. If you need to extend that range, 2.4 Zigbee wireless range extender. Okay, this is gonna be able to build a Zigbee mesh network. It, it allows, it extends it, every base station, every one of these extended another 70 feet. And obviously it's pro compatible with the Pro 24Z remote and the ProLink Z processor. Easiest way to remember it is the R is one way, which is RF, 433RF. The Pro, the Z series is two-way Zigbee for Z, okay? And again, this allows two-way uh, communication. Now here's a cool one. Z-Wave interface module. You do not need to go to a very large automation system to be able to get your two-way lighting control to get your two-way shades, door locks, thermostats, whatever it is, there is thousands of Z-Wave products out there. You want to be able to integrate them into your home theater, into your rooms without having to go to a large automation system. You can easily do this by just adding the Z-Wave processor. Very powerful piece to add to a uh, very reasonable remote. Now maybe you need more IR ports. Here's a four IR, four port, basically it's just a distribution block. Okay, you take one port out of your processor, it gives you four. No power supply required, just plug it in and go. Here's a cool one. Do you want to add relays? Here is a four addressable relays. You know, so if you've got TV lifts, shades, movie screens, uh, gates, whatever it is you need relays for, all you do is you plug this into the network and it's going to give you dry contact closures. You can also set up hold times. You can either power it locally or power it via PoE. It can be controlled via IR. If you're doing a simple IR device, you want to keep this off the network, or it can be controlled via the uh, over the network as well. Now, one other thing the, the RTI did great with Pro Control is the Pro 24R and the Pro Link R can only be programmed in Pro Control. The reason being is it's you know it's more standalone. It's not this big automation system. It doesn't give you the two way. It's it's li it's more limited. Okay. The Z series gives you the full two way communication. It's a larger processor. It has more horsepower behind it. So what they did is they made it to be able to start with pro control and when you grow out of that home theater you don't need to throw that system away or sell it on ebay and get a larger processor and different system to go up to an automation system no because it has enough horsepower to do so you can actually take that processor and remote the z series and turn around and reprogram it in rti apex which is the large RTA's large automation system, their large ecosystem for whole home automation and or commercial automation. This is a really, really cool point, guys. Okay. No more having to tell the customer, yes, I know I sold you that remote and base station uh, six months ago, a year ago. Well, now you want to add more rooms and you want to add distributed audio and you want to add this stuff. Well, now we got to upgrade your processor remote no customer wants to hear that they, the remote that they bought or base station they bought six months ago is now obsolete. You don't need to do that anymore if you sold them a Z-series remote and processor. That alone should be going into the, should be saying, anytime I sell one of these, I need to start with the Z-series remote and processor because of the expandability. It gives you so much more to be able to do. And one other thing, if they want Android, if you've been seeing that Pro Panel app is only iOS, right? That's what I've been saying the whole time. It's iOS only. But maybe you walk into a place and they want Android control. RTI Apex software, 
allows you to be able to also do Android. So if you buy a Pro Control Z series remote and processor and program an Apex, you can now give them iOS and Android. There's the loophole. Now let's get into Pro Control Studio. Some of the things you're gonna get in the software. There is auto programming, meaning it's gonna build a lot of your macros for you. It's gonna build your user interfaces for you. Okay, it's gonna build your two-way templates for you. But you're not stuck with that. You, it is 100% fully customizable, meaning you don't like those buttons there. You can delete them. You can add new buttons. You can make them bigger. You can do whatever you want but the nice thing is you don't have to start as a blank slate. You can start with their pre-program. It is drag and drop graphical interface. They give you a massive library to be able to drag and drop their icons, or you can add your own. Uh, they also have a lar massive, large IR database, so that way you can uh, create your own um, or use theirs or create your own IR as well. Uh, one huge thing is authorized dealers only. The end user cannot get this software. Okay, they do a great job at making sure the end users do not get this software, okay? Because by not having the software, it stop, stops a lot of people from trying to sell products online because you're selling big paperweights because the end users can't get it, okay? It also puts the reliability back into the dealer uh, so that way you're not gonna be losing sales, all right? No internet connection as well is required meaning you don't need an internet to be able to open the software to be able to program and it. it's not going out to pro control servers to verify your this that or the other thing every time now we talk about z series remote and processor and two-way communication here are just a few of their two-way partners okay it works with nest it works with yamaha lutron sono sony nuvo denon tivo Leviton, Onkyo, Pioneer, keep, and I keep going. Uh, maybe you guys are buying Denon Heos uh, over the Sonos because you want margins. Great stuff. Roku, DirecTV. I mean, there are some major easy players in here that work very well. Full two-way communication. And if you guys are, uh, I did put this slide up because I wanted you guys to see where it lands uh, from when we were doing URC. Uh, you know, you guys got to be know URC line very well. The model is really well. And where do they land? You know, because that's the biggest thing. So right out here, here it is. Okay. We've got, if you're doing an MX450, look at that price. $250, right? Pro 24Z or R. Sorry, Pro 24R, $250. And those are not dealer costs. Those are list pricing obviously anything 450 or anything more than a 450 you should be going up to the z series probably 780 is one of those tipping points it really depends on the price point but with the extra features you get out of the z series it should be a no-brainer to jump up let's also look at what you get mx450 versus and mx780 okay we'll take both of those let's line that up with the pro 24r first one screen size 450 is a two inch, which is more of a text space. It does a graphical text base. Okay, same with 780, it's a graphical text based. Whereas the Pro 24R is a 2.4 inch screen. No touch screen on the 450 or 780. It is a touch screen on the, R, the Pro 24R. On screen buttons. Both the 450 and the 780 have six on screen buttons fixed. You can, you know, you can hide them, but that's real. That's about it. Pro 24, Pro 24R is unlimited, since it is a fully customizable UI. Technically, if you wanted a hundred buttons on there, you could do it. Now, are you going to be able to touch every button without having to hit others? Yeah, probably not. It's only 2.4 inches, but you have the ability to. Let's jump down to two-way communication. Obviously, URC complete control line all the way across the board. No two-way communication, all right? No two-way communication in the complete control line uh, for handheld remotes that are using IR or RF. Granted, there are a couple exceptions if you wanna go up to their, you know, MX5000, things like that, or 
iOS, but that's again, that's not a lot of truth to it. There's, there's some exceptions, yes. But for what we're seeing, any comparable remote, there's no two way. Pro 24Z, you're going to get two way communication. Batteries, who likes changing all batteries? Both the R and the Z series are lithium ion. You don't get lithium ion until you get up to the 890 or 990 in complete control. Warranty, one year versus three year. Okay. And obviously, both URC and complete control are no online sales. That's their policy. Granted, yes, people are going to find things like URC remotes online, but they do they do have a no online sale policy. So with that being said, there is no online sales uh, for URC or Pro Control slash RTI. So just to go over one more time. Pro Control only sold through distribution. Okay, why is that important? Because you're not going to run into the situation where you're up against another dealer and maybe that dealer buys direct and he gets a better price because he's selling more stuff than you are. We've all ran into that. You're not going to get that with Pro Control. It is right across the board, distribution only. It is priced the same. There you go. No authorized online sales. Dealer protected software. Three year direct replacement warranty. Simple, efficient, graphical based programming, meaning very quick, easy auto programming, build your, build your macros, build your user interfaces for you, but then you can easily go in and customize if you want. And here's a big one all dealers are approved through a local distributor, meaning you can't just hop on the Pro Control uh, website and register and, be, and get access right away. You may think that's what happens when you go online and register. But when you go to register, there is a thing in there that states, where are you buying this? What distributor? And you're going to pick Capital Sales. Pro Control slash RTI actually reaches out to us at Capital to verify that you are a dealer before they give you access. Why is that important? Because it's going to stop end users from just going on, registering, and getting the software and getting other info. So they do a great job at protecting that software, protecting Pro Control, the integrity of Pro Control and RTI, which in turn helps you guys. And that is it. All right. So I want to thank you guys. We do have a couple of questions here. Uh, the first one is, I see metadata, but no album artwork on the Z remote. Does it provide album artwork if it is available? Yes, there is the ability to do album artwork. It is two-way. Okay. Uh, do you support Apple Voice Over? Um, I would have to look into that more. Again, I'm unfortunately I actually don't work for Pro Control RTI. I work for Capital Sales. They are constantly um, they're constantly producing new modules and uh, building new modules. And there's a way to be able to use RTI modules in Pro Control. And the easiest way is if you go into Apex you're going to be able to get all of the RTI modules as well in the pro, through the Pro Control line for that, uh, for the Z series. So with that being said, Apple VoiceOver, I would have to look and verify that. Um, I can't give you a yes or no answer without looking. And if you want, I can reach out to you afterwards, and uh, or you can reach out to me. We can do some looking and verify that for you. Now, is there any other questions, guys? Uh, here it is. What's the warranty process like? Warranty process is actually very easy. Um, you're going to reach out to RTI and or Pro Control. They're going to verify an issue is bad, and we will get it replaced. If it's within a certain amount of time, we will just do the RMA right through Capital Sales. If it is outside the normal window, we will get that process done right through RTI. So, But it is pretty painless. Us at Capital are going to make sure that you... Um, it's as painless as possible for you guys. Okay, so we will walk you through it. We'll make sure there's no, not too many headaches. Um, I have not had too many issues. I have not had any issues with actually getting any of this product replaced. So uh, if you guys do have any questions, I know how it works. As soon as we get off, you're gonna have a question. 
feel free to reach out to myself. Again, my name is Chris Scanlon. Uh, you can give a capital call at Ask For Me. You can also reach out to your local account manager at Capital, uh, or you can reach out to Pro Control or RTI. We're all here to help you guys out. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys have all the information and all your questions answered uh, before you guys get out on site and uh, you know run into any of this. If you guys haven't tried doing Pro Control yet, we kind of put together a kit uh, or RTI Pro Control that is the C2K1 kit. It comes with a um, Pro Controller remote, an XP3 processor, and an and a app which you can program in the Apex software. Uh, otherwise, we can work on getting you guys a Pro 24Z rem remote, a Pro Link Z processor is what I definitely recommend, uh, and an iOS setup code so that way you guys can start playing with this and, and get to know it ahead of time before you get out on site. Um, it is fairly easy to program, but again, it's always nice to know before you get on site. Again, guys, I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to reach out to myself uh, or reach out to your account manager at Capital. If there's no more questions, guys, I'll let you get back to it.